Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and also hit that bell for updates on videos and shenanigans by Smarvy Smart. Now enjoy the video. What's going on guys? And if you were just scrolling down your YouTube feed, you saw it correct. If you just got a phone notification, you also saw it correct. Smarvy Smart is back with another video. Yes guys, I know it's been a long time, but I'm finally back. And I felt like it was only fitting that I review the first episode of season five of The Flash because I'm very excited about this season. It looks really good. So without further ado, guys, let's just go ahead and get in on this. So first and foremost, one thing I will say is the episode as a whole was actually pretty good. It had an even balance of enough action, enough drama, enough suspense. And enough comedy. So for, for what it looks like, it looks like Ralph is going to kind of be taking the role of the comedy this season. Considering his little outburst and his little bit on time travel. Now one thing I will say is that we, even as Snowberry fans, have kind of gotten used to being pushed to the back. But I'm, I promise you. I really better get a lot more Caitlyn Snow scenes. And it looks like they're kind of pushing towards that, considering that they have taken a big step and kind of want to explore the whole Killer Frost thing. Maybe her dad being alive. Maybe he can uncover if she was a meta as a kid. How is that possible? So one thing I will say is that I hope we really get a lot more Caitlyn Sisko and Barry scenes, considering that, I mean, now that their daughter is showing up, that's going to take a lot more of the spotlight. But I hope they find a way to, like, really balance that. Because you all know how I am about Caitlyn Snow. She's, like, my favorite character on the show. I want to see more of her. So, pretty good job of putting her in there tonight. But I want them to keep that consistent. You know, I know they're going to be filler episodes. A.K.A. next week's episode pretty much looks filler to me. But, honestly, this is keep Caitlyn Snow in a big part of the mix. I know Barry's daughter just came back and we want to see what she's got to say, you know, see her explore her powers. I'm, I'm the fastest woman alive. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. But let's keep the whole team involved, especially when it comes to Cisco, Caitlyn, and Barry. So one thing I will say that's really confusing me for its theory wise is this newspaper article. Okay, first and foremost, I don't understand why Barry is acting so surprised about just now figuring out this happens to him because this newspaper article has literally been in there for the last five years. You learned about this in season one. So the fact of the matter is that you kind of acting surprised that you vanish in the future. I mean, come on, Barry, you've been knowing this for the last five years. But what confuses me is According to most people who theorize about this show, including myself, in this newspaper article, Barry fights the reverse flash along with like Arrow and some people. And they vanish without a trace after having like a heated conversation. Now, according to most theories, the, the when they vanish, this is when they go back in time to the night where Barry's mom is murdered. And the reverse flash in this fight is the one who does it. Now, we all know what happens to him. He, his speed force gets depleted, he gets stuck, and he eventually becomes Dr. Wells, builds the particle accelerator, blah, blah, blah. But we don't really know what happens to that Barry. After he gets his younger self out of there, he obviously lets Reverse Flash kill his mom because that's what's supposed to happen. But we don't really understand what happens to him. Does he lose his speed too and get stuck? Um, we just don't know. Because according to Nora Allen, aka his daughter, he stays missing for 25 years. So I really don't understand what could happen to 2024 Barry. My guess is that maybe like Thon temporarily, he loses his speed and gets stuck just like he does. I'm not too sure. I just, I, I, it's it's really above me, honestly. But the fact of the matter is that we have maybe, what, six more years to figure out what happens to that Barry. So when we get there, we get there. But the fact of the matter is, it's just, I just can't wrap my finger around it. Now, one thing I will say is, with this first episode, I was actually pretty impressed with the villains that showed up. Gridlock was incredible. I, I really rocked with his powers. I mean, it was like the more kinetic energy he was observing, the more stronger he got. I actually feel like he should be a part of the season a lot more than just one episode. He has potential to maybe be a, key, a reoccurring character, a reoccurring villain. Kind of like how 
Amunet was last season. And my God, I really like the way Sakaida looks. I mean, I learned last year not to judge a villain by its cover, considering how powerful DeVoe became. So, one thing about Sakaida is he's not our average, you know, speedster or look. But I'm pretty much used to not fighting a speedster, considering what we went through last season. But I will say one thing, Sakaida's powers and his, like, look looks a whole lot more attracting than what DeVoe was bringing to the table last season. So I'm really excited to see what he brings. And I was kind of like really excited to hear what he was all about in this first episode. And I can't wait to learn more about him. But as far as his first episode goes, Gridlock and Sakaida did a great job of impressing me. So I'm really excited about what this season has to bring for as the villains. But guys, I'm not going to talk a hole in your head. So once again, I'm really excited that The Flash has come back. And I was really actually excited to watch Black Lightning last night. So if you guys want to hear me review about that, I will be glad to. But I'm really excited about what this season is going to bring. I like the way the season looked. So guys, you can be sure you let me know in the comment section what you thought about what I said, about any of the theories I suggested doing with the newspaper article and Barry and Thorn and about Barry's daughter possibly trying to change that and maybe mess up the timeline altogether considering that may be a fixed point. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And for more videos about The Flash, hit the subscribe button. And stay out of trouble, guys. Welcome back.